and I read to Sarah. It happened when I read the Itsy Bitsy Spider to Sarah. So I'll let you hear what happened. This is the prologue. The Itsy Bitsy Spider has fallen on the floor. The baby is asleep, so I need not read it more. Almost asleep myself, my mind is wandering free. I get to thinking all the ways this spider's song could be. The itsy bitsy spider ingrained into my head. I rise from the rocking chair and put the kid to bed. I kiss her cheek and tuck her in and think what I could do with the style of the masters and the spider's point of view. One. Once upon a daytime cloudy, I ascended wild and rowdy up a drain pipe standing proudly just outside the kitchen door. Suddenly there came a rushing. I was hushed by water gushing, shushed by water that came flushing, flushing down the pipe once more. T'was a storm, a pouring rain to knock my butt up on the floor. Merely this and nothing more. Ah, distinctly, I'm recalling what it felt like to be falling, what it felt like to be calling help against the water's roar, as the rain sent me to stumbling, sent me mercilessly tumbling, sent me mumbling and a grumbling to the mat outside the door. Off I bounced and whacked my back upon the porch's cement floor, left for dead forevermore. But the sun, it came a-creeping out from clouds where it was sleeping, came and cast its golden rays ablaze across the kitchen door. Then the rain somewhat abated and the drops evaporated from the porch where they'd awaited me just moments gone before. So I rushed the pipe that sent the rain a gushing to the floor climbed the water spout once more. <laughs>